to do is keep track of the questions that are being asked. So then I can take your questions and pass them along to the boys today so you can hear a genuine response from our students because they are really the true embodiment of what Notre Dame represents today. So, guys, are you ready? Awesome. So let's start with the first question. Have any of you shattered in Notre Dame High School? All right, so Fran, if you don't mind, um, and the boys will introduce themselves the first time they speak, and then they will take it from there. So Fran, go ahead and let us know, what was your experience like when you visited Notre Dame? Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Francisco Farrow. I'm from Hamden. I went to Santa Rita, and I am a junior. So uh, when I first shadowed here, I was actually pretty nervous because it's my very first time being in a building full of high schoolers. Uh, but luckily, my shadow was actually a really nice guy, and uh, he introduced me to his friends, and his friends were also really nice. So straight off the bat, I felt very welcome in Notre Dame, and uh, uh, I already knew that I 100% wanted to go there. So I really recommend that you shadow just so you uh, are certain that you want to come here. Thank you, friend. So the next question, um, and if you guys don't mind, we'll hold you close to the end so we can get through a couple of them for you, Rob, is how easy is it to make friends in Notre Dame High School? You're coming from 75 different schools, and then you come here. How easy is that to happen? Redmond. Hello, my name is Red McHale. I'm from North Haven, Connecticut. I went to North Haven Middle School and I'm a junior here. It's very easy to make friends here because I only knew one person coming to Notre Dame and I ended up making so many friends with so many different people from so many different places that I wouldn't even know I'd be friends with. I'm in so many different friend groups. Um, clubs also help with that and a lot of the events that we have help with making friends. All right, thank you, Red. So, then the next question I have up is a really important one. Why did you choose to attend Notre Dame High School? You can answer that one, guys. All right, Oliver, first then. Hi, my name is Oliver Shannon. I'm from Brantford. I went to formerly St. Mary's School in Brantford, now East Shoreline Catholic Academy. Um, I, so, why did I choose Notre Dame? So, um, obviously today, as you guys all know, there are a bunch of open houses for a bunch of different places. And my story is that I was running around just like you guys were, looking at all the different open houses all in one day. But uh, when I came here to this open house especially, um, I walked right in. So it, um, I walked right in and there's really an incorporation between the faculty and all the students here. So I met a bunch of students right when I walked in. They said, welcome to Notre Dame High School with a smile and I could really see that they cared about their school and cared about um, what they're trying to promote. And uh, in comparative to some of the other places that I visited too, you know, I'd be in forced into a cramped, cramped room and have to listen to how to get in and stuff like that. But really here, I felt like I was part of the family right from walking in. So that's that's my story about choosing Notre Dame. Okay, thank you, Oliver. So the next question deals with diversity. Mr. Kyrus talked about us being a diverse community. Um, can one of you talk about what happens if you want to attend Notre Dame High School and you're not Catholic? Colton. All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Colton Barholak. I'm a senior here at Notre Dame, and I'm from Orange. I went to a Hamley Middle School. And I'm not Catholic, um, I'm a Congregationalist, so the way that Notre Dame uh, works is you start off with a religion class your freshman year, and you will have a religion class every year. However, there's a ton of kids here just like me that aren't Catholic. One of my best friends is actually Hindu, there are uh, students here who are Muslim, Jewish, and then you know more kids like me who just are still Christian but are not Catholic. Um, and the way that our religion department works is you're going to start off with an Old Testament class your freshman year, and then a New Testament class your sophomore year, and they'll, uh, you'll continue to get into morality, doctrine, and the history of the Catholic faith um, as you progress through your four years here in Notre Dame. And the teachers and the students here understand that not everyone is Catholic, and what they do is they start, you know, bare bones beginning. So you start right with Genesis, the first page of the Bible. I still remember like one of my first couple days here at Notre Dame, we were going over how to read the Bible, how to find passages, and all that sort of stuff. So you're not getting thrown into the fires, you could say, you know, just trying to figure out, coming in here surrounded by Catholics, trying to figure out, trying to keep up, because my father grew up Catholic, my mother's Protestant, so I was a little bit nervous about how I was gonna fit in here, if I was gonna be able to keep up with the academics and stuff like that, but the faculty especially does a fantastic job making sure that you feel comfortable and that you understand all of the topics that you're speaking about during your class. Perfect, thank you, Colin. So uh, the next question I have is, can you talk to us a little bit about your classes in Notre Dame High School and what are they like? Jacob. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jacob Bauer. I am a freshman here in Notre Dame. I am from Guilford, and I attended Our Lady of Mercy in Madison. So there are four levels of classes up here at Notre Dame. There's college prep, advanced college prep, uh, there's honors, and then there's AP, which is advanced placement. Um, 
I feel like the classes, they really put you in a spot where you can succeed the best. Um, the honors classes, no matter if you're in the honors classes, the college prep, they really put you in a spot where you are set up to succeed. Um, the classes are very involving, uh, lots of hands-on activities. Um, they're just a great experience overall. They're not just uh, rigorous sit down with your textbook and take notes. Um, they get you involved and um, they just, as I said, they try to set you up for success the best they can. All right, thank you, Jacob. And can someone follow up from the non honors perspective? What classes you like to do in my school? And have you had an opportunity to progress maybe from one level to another? Uh, let's go with Fran and then Chris, if you want, you can chime in too. So uh, when I was a freshman here, I took the placement test and I got into the level two class and I decided that I really wanted to push myself. So I worked hard with my teachers. I did all my homework. I, really, uh, I worked really hard during class. In my sophomore year, I was able to get into honors classes. And then when I was a sophomore, uh, same thing with freshman year. I tried really hard. I worked with my teachers. And when I was a junior, uh, I was able to get into AP classes. And the AP classes are challenging. They're not super challenging that I'm tearing my hair out in the morning. I'm super stressed out. So uh, I love the classes. Thank you, Fred. And Chris? Hello, my name is Christopher Hughes. I'm from Derby, Connecticut, and I went to Assumption School in Ansonia, and I'm currently a junior. Well, my story is kind of similar to France. I first took the placement test, and I just went in the average classes here at Notre Dame. Um, I was kind of worried of how the work was going to go, but as I started the day-to-day -day basis, I was kind of like, oh, this is, this is simple. I want to keep pushing myself to try to get to higher classes. And then sophomore year, I was in honors classes, and then current year, junior year, I'm taking one AP class, and it's, it's challenging, but it's just you have to get used to time management and all of that. All right, thank you, Chris. And then I guess the next question kind of dovetails off of that one. How do students seek out extra help in Notre Dame High School? You guys are talking about moving from one level to another. If you've ever needed help, how is help available? Who's there for you guys? Uh, let's start with Colton. So there's a wide variety of ways that you can get extra help here in Notre Dame. Um, one of them is the National Honor Society tutors. So a lot of the seniors uh, that you're going to see in this room and that may take you on your tours later are all National Honor Society tutors. And what that means is at the end of our uh, junior year, if we have the grades and we have the class levels and stuff like that, we'll be inducted into uh, one of four of our National Honor Societies. Um, and what that means is that we have a tutoring requirement. So for the end of our junior year and um, most of our senior year until the next class gets inducted, We'll go up to the Skills Center, which you guys will see on the tours later, and um, we are there to tutor you in a wide variety of subjects. We can help you with any subject, as well as the Writing Center, which I know Oliver is a big part in. Um, he's there every morning, so they'll help you with English, um, especially your essays and stuff like that, just to give you a student perspective. And then we also have the Skills Center, where we have uh, teachers in different special subjects who are there to help you. They're professionals in the subject, and they'll give you that extra help during community period if you want it. And don't ever be shy to go for extra help. It's probably one of the most helpful things here, especially depending on how difficult your classes are. You know, like Fred said, if you're taking the AP classes, if you're taking honors classes, you know, the workload can be a bit stressful, and you know, the class, the concepts and everything could be a little bit tough. So getting extra help is really gonna help you guys get through that. You know, teachers are always there for you as well as the students, so. Thank you, Colton. So the next question uh, is gonna talk about what is it like coming to Notre Dame High School for your school? Talk about the transition, the freshman uh, field days, and then your first couple weeks, two months of school. Jacob. So last year, I transferred in as a freshman about halfway through my freshman year, and I was definitely a little nervous about trying to get involved and seeing how it was really gonna end up. So my brother had ended up being here for four years, and he graduated last year, so I definitely knew um, that everyone here was very accepting. There was plenty of ways to get involved. So as soon as I got here, I knew I had to join plenty of clubs and you know get involved in anything I could. So um, this year I joined the soccer team. You know we hang. You know you're with your team every day. You're with your clubs every day. Um, your classes. Anyone you really know. Anyone you've ever really talked to. You can talk to all day. You'll meet with them every day. And it's, just, it's just super easy to get involved. Thank you, Jacob. And you talked a little bit about sports. Can someone talk to me a little bit about other involvement in Notre Dame High School? All right. Hi, uh, my name is Ari Kinder, I'm a sophomore at Notre Dame, and I'm uh, from Western Connecticut, I used to attend ESOM. Um, so for the other sports, there's basketball, football, baseball, there's a swim team, um, and then we have intramural sports. So intramural sports is if you did make a team that you're able to play, and you're able to play with other people who didn't make a team, and um, it's like it's an easier way to make friends, um, it's, it's a way to connect with people share the same thing that you do um, and 
Can someone follow up with, um, what are the involved opportunities in Irving High School if I'm a musician? Colter Oliver. Um, so, our fine arts, uh, fine arts department here, sorry about that, is uh, very strong. We actually have two teachers for uh, our band program. We have a marching band, a concert band, and an honors band. Um, and it's really amazing to have two teachers in the same classroom environment because, you know, while one is working with the band as a whole, uh, the other one could just take somebody aside and they could work on rhythms or drill or stuff like that. So, you know, specifically in the band department, having two teachers in that one classroom has been a tremendous help. Um, our fine arts department actually has a lot of amazing opportunities that we've gotten through Mr. Arnold and uh, Ms. Evans. Last year we actually went down to Disney World and we marched down the uh, Main Street Parade in um, Magic Kingdom. For, we were down there for about a week um, for our April break. And then in May we went down to Washington, D.C and we marched in the National Memorial Day Parade, which was a lot of fun, um, just because getting to experience you know, the culture of our country, getting to be in Washington, D.C. for you know, the weekend, it was, it was a lot of fun. So um, we also have our chorus, our concert chorus, they perform at the masses, and we have our drama club who always puts on a really great musical in spring. All right, so the next question, since we talked about sports and arts, can we hit on some of the new clubs in Notre Dame High School? So we have like eSports, Bass and Fishing, can you guys talk about the different clubs or any opportunities for students to uh, develop clubs if they have an interest? So, Albert. I'll take that. So, a uh, brand new club this year is actually the Mountain Biking Club. And uh, so, that was a group of guys who loved mountain biking, and just recently they figured out that they liked mountain biking. Like, oh, wait, you like mountain biking too? That's cool. And so, they went up to uh, a teacher, Mr. Milano, who also loves to mountain bike, and they said, hey, can we form a mountain biking club? And now they've, as of now, they've already gone on two trips together. Um, what, out in the spot in Madison, and then up at Powder Ridge, they've gone to mountain bike for the day. So that's that's a, uh, another um, a, occasion where um, a, if you don't see a club, you know, we already have a bunch of clubs, but if you don't see a club um, that you may may that if you don't see a club that is there, and you can find friends to come support you and say, hey, you know, we all like this. If you can find a teacher to moderate it, bam, it's a club. And so uh, the mountain biking club is a perfect example of that. And I, I know our esports team is pretty good. We went uh, undefeated in the regular season last year, I believe, and or, or undefeated in Overwatch at least. And, uh, and so you know we, we we have anything you can really span the ski and snowboard club. Um, that's we we always go on trips to the ski and snowboard club. So bunch of clubs here, bunch of different ways to get involved. All right, so we talked about academic <laughs> involvement. Um, I'd like to switch gears and kind of talk about the end result of Notre Dame High School. Can um, someone talk about the college process, when it begins, and you know, tail end we'll left, Colton hop in and tell us what it's like now in his uh, junior or senior year. Fred, you want to start us off? So the college process actually starts your sophomore year here. The, uh, the, the student, uh, your, your guidance counselor actually comes into your, uh, your life skills class and sets up your Naviance account with you, which generally starts off the uh, college process. You then continue on to junior year and you go to college fairs, either here, Sacred Heart, we offer one every year, and you gen then you can go and see schools that visit here at Notre Dame during the day. Then Colton, talk about the junior to senior year transition and where you are now in the process. Okay, so like um, Redden was saying, at the end of your junior year, beginning of your junior year, um, you'll go to the college fairs. So we actually just had ours a couple weeks ago on October 2nd, and uh, there were a ton of guys there, a lot of girls from Sacred Heart and the world who came. And really the college fair is a great opportunity just to kind of gauge interest in different schools. There were over 100 different colleges that were represented at the fairs, so there was really kind of something for everyone there, and they could kind of see where they wanted to end up. Throughout your junior year, like Redmond said, you're gonna keep meeting with your uh, school counselors. And during those meetings, you're gonna kind of come up with a list of prospective schools that you think you want to apply to. Um, and then throughout your junior year, as you continue going through, you're gonna keep meeting with them. Your parents will come in and you'll have a big group meeting. And basically those meetings are just to narrow down that list that you came up with at the beginning of your junior year. At the end of your junior year, you're really gonna start, you know, over the summer, going on college tours, going to open houses, admissions visits, different stuff like that. And then once senior year hits, you know, you just hit the ground running. So it's pretty much everything that they said it would be for the first couple months of Senior year, you know, you're really trying to work on your college essays, getting them absolutely perfect. Um, you're still looking around, going to open houses and stuff, so I know a lot of us are still going on visits and stuff like that, but um, I know a couple of us have already gotten most of our applications submitted. I submitted mine a couple days ago, so I'm really excited about that. And Notre Dame really has set us up to succeed. Um, like I know somebody was saying earlier during the panel, when 
they were talking about the academics. Notre Dame really sets you up to succeed, and especially, you know, being a senior, being able to look back on how they've helped me prepare to go to college and prepare for the college process, it's, it's amazing. All right, Colton, thank you. Now, the next question comes from students that visit Notre Dame High School. And when I think about on the road, this is a very important question. So I want you guys to think before you answer, okay? The guys always ask me, what is the food like in Notre Dame High School? So could you tell us a little bit about the food? Because I know you guys have big fuel tanks that need to be full in order to be successful. All right, Jacob, go ahead. All right, uh, so we have a lot of food options here at Notre Dame. There's the, always the hot lunch, um, and then we have a daily counter, make your own wraps, put whatever meats and cheeses you want on it. We also have a specialty every day um, in, the, in a booth near the back of the calf. I think last week it was pork and rice. Um, this week, I believe it was something, uh, I believe it was pasta. Um, so there's a lot of food options, really good food. Um, Hot lunch is always great too. All right, thank you, Jacob. The other Jacob wants to add in on that? Okay, and then um, we have one more student-related question, then one question that will be for the general audience. So, Mr. Doyle, from one Jacob to the other. So Tell us about lunch. I guess I'll add in just, you know, when I went to the, when I went to the school, it was really just, you know, getting it out. Um, here, you'll have a community period in the middle of your day. Uh, it's 75 minutes, and uh, it's split up into three blocks. Anytime during that period, if you want to go grab lunch, you can. Uh, you can eat in here, a lot of tables set up, or you can eat in the calf, and it just makes it really easy to not have to you know, rush through. So during that time, uh, you can also meet with teachers, uh, clubs to meet, um, you can have meetings as well. So, all right, thank you, Jacob. All right, next question again, also, as I said earlier, student related. What is it like to go to a school without rooms? Can someone tell us what that's like? Because it must be a little different. All right. Colton, you're going to take that one? I, I can. All right, perfect. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, so uh, like I said earlier, I came from a public school. I came from Amity in Orange. And you know what you kind of realize there is once you transition into Notre Dame, which is obviously an all-guys school, um, it really takes the pressure off. You know, when you're at a public school, you're always trying to impress the girls and trying to you know, always look your best. And somebody said it earlier when we were practicing for the panel that you can't really be yourself. And I want to emphasize that because at an all-guys school here in Notre Dame, you really can't be yourself because you're not trying to impress anyone. But don't get me wrong, it's not like you're not going to see a girl for the next four years. <laughs> Notre, Dame, Notre Dame provides you with so many opportunities to meet girls. So, um, you know, especially at our sporting events and stuff like that, we have Green Machine, which is where a whole bunch of students go out. We have our giant flag and our mascot, and we always go out to the football games, basketball games, lacrosse, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, there's always girls from Laurelton and Sacred Heart there. Especially during your freshman and sophomore year, there's a lot of mixers. So, um, basically, all of the area girls' schools are invited. And um, we just kind of have like a dance in the gym for a couple hours for dinner. Um, and then, you know, there's, you know, typical prom and stuff like that. So it's not like you're not going to see a girl for four years. There's plenty of opportunities to still meet girls. You know, a lot of us can agree that through Notre Dame, we've probably met more girls than we would just going to our normal public school. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, the last question, and I think one of the most important questions, uh, you know, some of you guys have taken the train to Notre Dame High School, and, you know, I know that, if, you know, people are traveling great distances. We have boys that come to us from Westport and Westbrook, and, you know, now students that are riding in on new line. How is it like to take the train to Notre Dame and then utilize the shuttle? All right, Mr. Shannon. I, I, I took the train freshman and sophomore year. Um, I'm always Mr. Rizzo's go-to guy when it comes to train schedules and stuff. Uh, but, but, but the train for my family was uh, especially helpful because I have four other siblings, which had to be in you know three different, three, four different places. So instead of having to get a ride into Notre Dame, um, I actually took the train from Brantford to New Haven, and then from New Haven to West Haven. And we actually have a very close partnership with the University of New Haven and their shuttle service. So when you get dropped off from wherever you're coming from, like Bridgeport, Wallingford, or for me, Brantford, um, you go straight to West Haven, um, and then the, the shuttle service, UNH shuttle service, picks you up from West Haven and brings you straight to the doors of Notre Dame High School. And, um, and like Mr. Rizzo said, the commute can be long sometimes. You know, I've had funny stories of days where there's been, you know, delay after delay after miss this train. But it's all part of the experience, and it's, it's a lot of fun. And um, when you have other guys with you going through the same thing, you know, it's, it's <laughs> it brings up some good stories and some good memories. So it's, it's definitely a fun experience um, and an important life skill to have. Thank you very much, Oliver. So um, first of all, I'd like to take a brief moment to just thank these guys for staying with us today and answering questions again. Thank you.